डियर स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू एन अमेजिंग सेशन डेलीवर्ड बाई नॉलेज हाउ वेद एच के सो लेट स्टार्ट द क्वेश्चन इज कल्चर मीडिया इज ए स्टेलाइज बाई आंसर ऑटो क्लेविंग येस ऑटो क्लेविंग स्टेलाइज मटीरियल यूजिंग सैचुरेटेड स्टीम अंडर प्रेशर ओके दिस इज द प्रिंसिपल टू अचीव अ टेम्परेचर ऑफ वन ट्वेंटी वन डिग्री सेल्सियस at a pressure of 15 psi for at least 30 minutes okay so uh, uh this temperature pressure and minutes will allow the sterilization uh, autoclave work effi- effectively okay so next question is uh zeil nilson uh, let me correct this zeil nilson staining or acid fast staining is used for which bacteria answer mycobacterium tuberculosis the zeil nilson staining technique is a differential staining technique okay it is a rapid and a practical method for detecting acid fast bacteria this technique is used to stain uh mycobacterium species including mycobacterium tuberculosis mycobacterium uh, leprae okay example are this and uh, the next question the eighth question is uh, the disease that can be transmitted from animal to human are called zoonotic disease yes the disease shed between animal and human Uh, and the common disease uh, we can take example here are the disease that are shared between the human and animals are zoonotic influenza okay one in uh, disease is zoonotic influenza the other is uh, salmonellosis hmm and plague okay this is also a uh, important and common disease plague and a severe acute respiratory syndrome and there are many i'm listing some here uh moving to the next question uh ninth question an organism that transport a pathogen from one person to another person is called a vector here you are using a vector to transmit a disease from a host one host to another okay yes Uh, from one to other this is one host and this is the non infected person okay non infected person so you are uh, with the help of vector you are transmitting the disease from a infected human host to a non infected human host okay so the the transporting agent the trans uh, the reason for the transportation is here is vector okay the agent uh, next the 10th question a substance which causes rise in body temperature is called it is a pyrogen yes uh, here the uh, substance is typically produced by the bacterium this substance uh, is produced by the bacterium which produces fever rise in the temperature fever when introduced or released into the blood okay this bacterium release the uh substance pyrogen into the blood which affects the central neuron okay central neurons and in uh, this uh, cent- uh, this uh, effect to central neurons occurs in uh, animals and or humans okay clear so with this uh, uh we have come to the end of the uh, end of our session so i hope you were able to answer the question i hope you were benefited by this particular session do let me know do let me know in the comment section and uh, thank you so much for being here and we will meet in next session till then keep studying all the very best thank you take care bye